hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to talk about how to write nested allodes so let us get started without wasting much time if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so when you are working as a tableau developer there might be scenarios or there might be situations where you have to write you know lod expressions and along with that if there is a complicated scenario you might also you know have to write nested lod expressions so let us try to build that so first instance we'll try to see how you know uh, the result is getting or uh, the result is behaving and then we'll write step by step so for this i'm trying my intention here is to show you how we can write multiple uh, lod expressions here okay and for that we are going to construct a statement so i'm going to take my time series and for that i want minimum sales here or maximum sales here and then we are going to use that as a filter so three things we are trying to do okay so for the first step i'm doing is i'm trying to prepare my view so always see how your view is in your dashboard at which level how many dimensions you have you know and then you have to construct according to that so if you see currently i have my year and my month okay i am taking my sales and i'm simply dropping it here so now what is this giving me it is giving me sales for each year right now my intention is to get minimum sales for this using lod expressions right so i'm trying to write and create a calculation uh, lod expressions okay now because i want to find out my sales at month level right so for each year for each month i want to find out what is my sales first step right so i'm trying to build that so i'm trying to use a fixed lod here okay so fixed okay i am using a date trunk function you can try to do it uh, at a month level using month of order date and all that is also possible but i'm just using date trunk here and i'm trying to do at month level from my order date so for this give me sum of sales okay okay now what will this give me this will give me the same sales right i'm trying to just get this for now okay click on apply okay and then i'm just dropping it here maybe i'll just take it uh yeah now let us evaluate so what is our lod expression giving us it is giving as a sales for each month okay fine so we are good till now but what we do we need we need minimum sales like after all of these months from january to december in which month did we had minimum sales so it was february in 2019 but it can be a different thing in 2020 now let us try to write an lod on top of the expressions that we have created now what is this giving it is giving sales at a month level right now i am using this expression okay and i'm simply using fixed of minimum we need right so i'm just writing this and i'm closing it outside this now this complete statement is becoming one statement for me right so whatever is the output that i am getting here okay i'm passing that so from that sales i am taking minimum value okay so first your inner statement will get executed and then whatever the values we are getting here they are going to pass here now what is the dimension we have specified so for now we didn't specify anything so when we didn't specify anything what does that mean it mean tableau will compute on the whole right so i am just going to close it and let us observe the result for that what happened it gave us the minimum sales now you compare the year in 2019 it is giving us the same minimum sales in 2020 also it is giving us the same sales but our intention is not that right so we want at a year level so for each year you have to find out what is the minimum sales right so now this thing you have to think 
okay so no one will come and tell you you have to add year of order date to your calculation and all no we have to think how tableau is behaving when i am not adding this particular dimension what is the value i'm getting i am getting four five two zero but why am i not getting the minimum sales from 2020 because i have a view which is at a year level and a month level whereas my sales are at month level okay now here i need to just specify year of order date now what will happen for your each year give me minimum sales simple click on apply now for 2019 you have a different sales for 2020 you have a different sales for 2021 you have a different sales and 2022 same thing okay like this we can develop now let us see another example for this this time what i'm doing is i'm taking at a subcategory level okay i am also taking my category okay and uh, i'm taking my sales so for each category i need minimum sales again at a category level at a subcategory level i want to find out where is my minimum sales so i want this furnishing had minimum sales okay like which subcategory had minimum sales so in office supplies if you see we have fastness right let us try to build that again so same concept i'm trying to do okay so lod expression two i'm writing so what do we need to do here we need to first find out the sales at a subcategory level right so i'm trying to write fixed okay i am also taking category and subcategory and then i'm trying to find out what is my sum of sales okay and i'm closing this now this will give me the same result right click on apply okay and if i just try to bring it into the view it should give me the same result right we got it okay now now what we need we need minimum sales same concept okay i am going to use the output that we are getting from this lod expression and find out the minimum value right so again fixed okay so this time i'm taking my category so for at the category level i want to find out minimum okay and uh, i'm closing this here and let us see if we are getting result as expected now what did this give me this give me see here it is giving me at furnishing value here we got uh fasteners value and here we got you now this copiers value okay so which is working according to what we need so this way you can write or create you know nested lod expression so always what you have to do first you have to start from the basic here so what is this statement giving so from this statement or the results of this i'm trying to capture or get minimum from that result that is how this statement is going to evaluate now i'm just trying to create a filter on top of that so i'm trying to use a duplicate expression here so i'm going to again my time series example here but this time what i'm doing is instead of uh, uh, minimum i'm taking max okay so what will i get i'll get maximum sales right say here so for a given year you are showing where is your ma minimum sales and where is your maximum sales both okay but assume you want to show only those two okay you want to show where is your minimum sales and where is your maximum sales and not beyond that how are we going to do okay so simply we can write a calculation here okay uh, i'm writing lod filter okay so if my if sum of sales is equal to my lod expression or sum of sales equal to so I'm just taking my two LOD expressions here, okay? Then 
uh, I'm just writing one else zero and I'm ending it. Okay, so it is giving me error. Maybe we need to fix our aggregations here. I'm just taking some here. Okay, and here also. And here also. Okay, click on apply and okay. So I'm simply going to take this and drop it on filter shelf and maybe we can convert this into and i'm going to take only this now you see for each year you are only displaying where you had minimum sales and where you had maximum sales so in 2019 our minimum sale was on february and maximum was on september and again in 2020 february and november and January and December, February and November. So if you see, for most of the years, February is the period where we have ma uh, minimum sales. So we can come to a conclusion that, okay, in February, we'll have less sales like that. Okay. So I think that's it from my side in this video. I hope you found the video useful. If you want more interesting videos on LOD expressions or a series on that, please do comment in the comment section. And thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.